Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Seth S. Seth Daniel TV, back again with another video. Today we're going to discuss the solar panels. It's been six months since I've installed them and I just want to be the judge, show you guys the numbers and if it was actually worth it. It's a little windy up here, so I should really get down. This is dangerous up here. I'm not going to make my video like how other people do where they make you watch all the video and then they tell you at the end if it was worth it or not. I'm going to tell you straight up now that yes, it was worth it. It has saved me a little bit of money the last six months that I have the solar panels installed. So let's dive into more detail. One of the first things I did is I called my uh, utility company. We use PSENG here on the East Coast. And I asked them how they worked their numbers out. How did they come to this electricity bill? And the thing they told me is that they charge for delivery and supply. For delivery, they charge four cents, a little bit over four cents. And to supply, they charge you a little bit over 13 cents. So basically for every kilowatt that you use, they charge you 17 cents. Based off of that, Tesla has a really cool app. You can see how much you produce, how much you use, your peaks and everything. It gives you very detailed information how much your power is actually coming straight from the solar panels and how much you're using uh, from the grid, which is a utility company. So based off of those numbers, I multiply the uh, delivery and supply charge by the kilowatt that the app told me, and it just gives me an estimate. So technically I have an estimate on how much I would have technically paid the utility company if I didn't have solar panels. And now from that, I subtracted how much I paid last month. Obviously we use gas, um, we use gas for our heat and for our appliances. So obviously I, I can't do anything about that. You have to pay the gas. And then I subtracted those two numbers from each other, which would give you a net savings from having the solar panels. And then I compare that to the 109.87 that I pay every single month. Just looking here, we can see that when I first started, I only saved $61 from getting solar panels. This is a loss of like $48, but you have to keep in mind that I got in the middle of, I don't know, April or something. And there was like a down week because I got it like a little bit into the month. But all the other months after that, we can see these are the most days with the most sunlight during the summer. That's when you're going to save the most because those are longer days and you have more sunlight. Therefore, your solar panels are generating more electricity. So I have saved. Like if we look, I was supposed to pay $283, but I only ended up paying $31 that month. That's, that's a very big saving. And during the summer, obviously you use mostly um, your AC because heat is not required. And it just uses a minimal amount of uh, gas just to run your, um, just to push all that air because we have forced air. So you use just a little bit of gas. So you save a huge amount of money during the summer when the AC is running because that's all electricity. But now going into the winter, this is when heat is used a lot. So your savings are gonna be down more and since you have less sunlight because it'll be more cloudy and a lot of snow you won't be producing as much with your panels so when you buy solar panels um there's a bunch of incentives that the government gives you one is that they give you a 30 percent tax credit which is just a credit it's not like free money instead of paying the government or the irs you will be paying that 30 percent to the solar panel company so we took out a loan um, for $22,800 and at the end of it with 4.98% interest, um, I'm going to end up paying $36,636 to the company that is the total price of the solar panels. The most important thing to note is that the way they have the loan set up, I'm going to pay $109.87 for the first 16 months and then after the 16 months, if I don't pay that 30% uh, credit, then my bill goes up to 157. Another incentive that the government gives people for going green and to get solar panels or these things called SRACs. Um, for every kilowatt that your panels produce, they will give you one SRAC. Each one currently in New Jersey is worth $229. So in those six months, our system has generated over 4,000. 
which would mean that I made $916, which I can sell, and they just credit that into my account. Total savings for the first six months of having my solar panels is $1,136, which isn't too bad if you consider the fact that you're going green, you're helping the environment out, and you're saving so much money with your electricity bill, and you are generating more at the end of the year. So technically, one year after installation, you can sell that access back to the utility company, and they give you half of the delivery price. It's only like two cents. Before I got the solar panels, my bill was easily over 200 on average. Now, I haven't paid over $80. The highest was only $78. You do get a really good amount of saving. Um, again, like I said, these numbers are based off of the most productive time of the year, which was from May to December. So that time you're gonna generate the most. That's when our bill was usually the highest because our AC was always running like I mentioned. So that uses a lot, a lot of power. I'll also do another video with one year of owning the solar panels, which would give you a better idea because the winter time is gonna be really slow and it's not gonna be as much generation because of the snow and fall time when there's a lot of leaves and more cloudy, so not as much and the days are much shorter. So you have less sunlight exposure. Therefore, the numbers are most likely going to go down a little bit. This is not advice, it's just recommendation based off of my experience. It might not be suitable for your area or you might be better, it might be better, you might have more sunlight. So do your own research, see how the numbers might be in your area, talk to professionals, talk to a bunch of different companies that provide solar panels, see what the best option might be for you. For me, yes, it was worth it and if I were to do it again, I would definitely do it again. So thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below. Peace out.